Good evening. champion the only man to ever hold that title before was John Morrison but finally it's either going to be our second champion here Killer Cross or Jacob Fatu 740 days ago we thought Killer Cross had left us for good but tonight he returns home and will he get the gold around his waist here or will Jacob Fatu play spoiler to the hometown favorite in our Mecca Championship match. Who's a dangerous man? Everyone we're watching wrestle right now. But I, I will say this, a dangerous man is a man who thought he was leaving home. A dangerous man is a man who went away. And a dangerous man is a man who returned home and is reclaiming his home. That's a dangerous, dangerous individual. But I don't think Jacob Fatu cares how dangerous Cross is. Oh, have you seen Jacob Fatu? I've seen him. You said he was scary when he was five. Have you watched him wrestle? I have. He don't give a damn how dangerous you are. He will kick your ass. So right now, we have the unstoppable force versus the immovable object. Who will bend? Who will wield? I don't give a damn. I'm going to sit back and watch. Pretty sure Fatu is the type. Snacks on danger and will dine on the death of Killer Cross here at the Mecca oh, if I he has his choice. I see what you did there. I did. I see what you did there. And I see what Cross did there. Not intimidated by Jacob Fatu's pedigree. And right now, here's that feeling out process. Here it is. Once again, you don't know what a man is like until you, until you, until you get that grab on him. You lock up with him in the ring and then you realize his strength. This is the second time these two have ever squared off, but it's more meaningful than ever with what's at stake tonight. The Mecca Championship is on the line. The Mecca Championship, pride. Both these men live off the fear of others. It's how they fuel themselves. And this match is going to be a battle, and it's going to be intense. And you can see, you can just feel that out in this feeling out process here. Wow. Jacob showing disrespect to Scarlett, man. Oh, that might have sent Cross into a different place. Do you see that moment there? That little hesitation? Yeah, the crowd saw it. They're letting Jacob know what's up. Both these men can go at any style here. I mean, they're known for their power, they're known for their explosive offense, but if this becomes a submissions battle, they can both do it. Well, and you know, Jacob can take it above the ropes too. So this is, this is, Styles makes fights. 
cost, no, Salisbury cost, this is a... Hey, when somebody crotch chops you, what does that do to your psyche? Uh, I'll leave it alone. It makes you, it pisses you off. It makes you want to get back out there and just, you want to give it right back to them. And now both men, across though with that, just scores him right away, goes for the cover, and gets the two. Two of the hardest hitters professional wrestling has to offer here. Are going one-on-one -on -one to crown the second ever Mecca champion. Oh, straight right hand there. You see Cross is starting to feel himself now. He's starting to feel he's got an advantage. So you see him on the attack. Look at this. Not a lot of not a lot of strutting usually across his career, but he gets his little Fargo in. Well, everybody's got to pay homage to, to, to Fargo there with the Fargo strut. And just the way Cross. Yeah, that's what you don't do. You don't send a member of the Samoan dynasty's head into the turnbuckle. They're immune. They have a vaccine. It's called a. It's called the Samoan head. It's called you messed up. And he just shakes it off a third one. And one shot from Jacob Fatu could send Cross down. Oh man, he put the X on his crotch chop. A little bit of flavor. Now, Jacob is starting to feel it now. Jacob's turning this match around. Let's see what he can do next. Play it again, Fatu, play it again. Obviously some newer FSW fans in attendance, maybe they didn't see the cross era, are here for Jacob Fatu. He's a big time star. We're calling it cross his homecoming, but Jacob Fatu has made a name for himself in professional wrestling over the last couple of years. It, it, it could be Cross's homecoming, but what do you want to do more than anything else? Go back to your high school days. You want to ruin homecoming for the other team. What do you think Jacob Batu's been thinking this whole time is, you know what, this is uh, Cross's homecoming. I'm going to kill his dream, and I'm going to beat him in his homecoming. And this is where both men are dangerous, but Jacob Batu can be especially dangerous on the outside where the rules are more lenient, there's more relaxation, but from the referee's overbearing nature of enforcing the rules. Wait, you said the referee's overbearing? I mean, you know, like, let the guys do their thing here. <laughs> and Cross takes him down with that kick, but you can see the effects this match has taken. First time he's been in the ring in more than 90 days. And so, you guys, these are, these are two super heavyweights going at it. So every strike you see carries more weight, more force, more power. It wears men down faster. Heavyweight fights don't last in eternity. They're quick and to the point, and it's about who can get that kill shot first. Yeah, they're quick and to the point, and there's a long recovery sometimes after it. Is it going to be Doomsday? Nope. It goes to the midsection. Straight kick right there to the chest. And he has such insane precision. Oh, look at that knee strike. That's the precision I was talking about. Cross has left a legacy here in FSW. He's been a big time success in the AAA promotion. Former NXT champion. Everywhere he's gone, two-time NXT, two -time NXT, NXT champion. Everywhere he's gone, he has left his name. But Look at, oh, it doesn't matter. Fatu just literally moved the ring three inches to the left. Yeah, that running hip attack did more than crush Cross's his skull. Scarlet even showed concern for Cross. Usually she lets him handle his business, but Jacob Fatu is a totally different beast. And if he can bulldoze over Cross tonight, Jacob Fatu is going to strike fear in the heart of not only everybody in FSW, but the entire independent wrestling scene if he hasn't already. Jacob Fatu is a star. 
You can see that from the moment he walks into the ring. He's a star. Killer Cross is also a star. And now Fatu just kind of, remember a second he was soaking in the moment, now he's feeling the effects of that shot from Cross. Who hits the suplex, floats over. But Fatu gets the, Juji Gatami, the cross arm breaker, trying to hyper extend the elbow. Cross has wrist control. Doesn't appear from where I'm seated that he has it fully latched in and locked on, but Jacob Fatu. You see Jacob stirring over the ropes. Cross never fully got locked in, he's gonna let it go. So then he had to the count of five to break it. He used every extra second because he knows you need every extra second against Jacob Fatu. Now what's Cross doing? He's lining up for something. Going for the clothesline there. No, Fatu, Samoan! Samoan drop, and luckily for Cross, well, he's back on his back, but the impact sent him off his back, and he gets covered now. Now, Cross does not want Jacob Batu to start building his momentum and stringing together combination offense. That's the worst thing can happen for Cross right now, but Fatu is feeling it. You can see it. Yeah, when Fatu puts things together, He's just going to take you apart. It's the way it is. What Cross was going to be, a, what Cross thought was going to be a homecoming, has turned into a home invasion by Jacob Fatu. Here we go. Here we go. Fatu starting to string things together now. Backhand spring. Oh man, Muso! Like you mentioned, he's a brawler, but he's got that athletic side that most men with his frame can't match. Here it is, it is now dangerous for Cross. Fatu, like I said, is now stringing together offense. He's putting together tandem and combination offense. This is a bad moment, a pivotal moment for a guy like Killer Cross. If he does not quell this wave, it will overtake him and crush him. Cross not backing down, but the moment he showed the disrespect to Fatu, he paid for it. The toll man is paying the toll now. Now, what has Fatu got next? What has he got next in his arsenal? You know, no matter what position you have Cross in, if you, you feel like you have him beat, you stay on him, because you, very few men have ever had Killer Cross beat. And see, this is a bad spot for Fatu, because he's getting caught up in the crowd, and every time Cross keeps getting back up, Disrespect from that finger, he tried to bite it off. And you can see the frustration and the, the concern on the face of Scarlett Bardot on, on the floor there. And that's the thing, a lot of times she revels in the destruction cross causes. She doesn't necessarily get concerned about his well-being because he's usually in control. When Dilo this nerve hold, some people watch at home might not realize, what does this exactly do to you? This is trapezes hold. It is, it is numbing the nerve that is in your neck. It is right next to the aorta that is killing off blood flow to your body. So it is, it is shutting your body down slowly. The longer it's on you, the more it paralyzes your body. And Cross realizes that, especially with his submission training. He knows when he's in a dangerous hold, he's got to fight up. Oh, oh, golly. Heart, heart first into the buckle. And now you can see Fatu is firmly in control at this moment. Look at Fatu. He don't care if you're a photographer. He don't give a damn who you are. He's going to kick at you. Well, but Cross. Cross. Oh, it's a oh, close line. And that's going to buy him some time. Is this the moment? Is this the moment this match shifts in a different direction? Yeah. Cross may have turned him inside out, but will 
he recover first after what's been done to him? We got two big heavyweights in this horse fight laying it all on the line for the Mecca Grand Championship. Who will become the second man to ever hold that title? the Suplex Symphony here. Can he get it going? And he traps Fatu in the corner with that clothesline and those strikes. Nowhere for him to go. And he's saying it's doomsday. There it is! On his head! And he was not able to protect his neck. Wait, is it time to pay the toll, man? Cross is lining up. And look at Scarlett now, realizing that Cross. Oh, no, 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 Jacob, no! We got a situation here that if the referee wasn't concerned with Cross. Oh, no, 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 no! The Canadian Destroyer sets up. And will he be able to hold on? That's it! He's going to a new Grand Champion, Killer Cross! Well, Killer Cross comes home and slays the Samoan werewolf. <laughs>